Hello everyone. Terraformers will live in infamy, at least the first season. It was excessively brutal and intentionally gritty. That's not to say the visual wasn't good. There were brief moments where we might see the more mature or detailed approach, but the sudden camera cut undermined that potential. It went from lingering graphic shot and overly long pose to hectic slideshow in a heartbeat. Data for Mars' main weapon was the shock factor. People were introduced as being combatant or overpowered, then died horrible death. This group of people was sent into Mars for mission to save humanity, only to be greeted by derpy face above cockroaches. There is plenty of gore to go around, for both sides. Head and limbs were being chopped off at breakneck speed. I wouldn't mind this if not for the clumsy and headache-inducing edit. Sometimes the scene goes by so fast it's almost comedic, or it lingers a tad too long for the character to pose. This is a deliberate choice by the studio. It definitely had good design for the human, and a few good scenes here and there, where the camera was not epileptic. I really don't like this kind of shaky cam, since it's just a poor way to mask the underwhelming action, which Terraformers didn't actually need. It could have just shoved regular, more controlled fights. Maybe this could work for the first couple of times, but even the shock effect would wear out after the third poor bastards got slapped by the cockroaches. The design for this enemy was also jarring. They were physically frightening, but with dumb as fuck face. We did see some variations, but they all had this stupid look. The juxtaposition was bizarre, to say the least. And to top it off, the CG was stiff, especially when they tried to show multiple enemies. It didn't really have to be this way, as one-on-one -on -one metal had shown some smooth animation and more refined CG shot, but it had to be really restrained. One aspect that Terraformers were sadly lacking. But there's more. The series also dropped random cockroaches out of nowhere, just to put more emphasis that they're the villains. It also had static or grainy filter, in case that it wasn't gritty enough. So at worst, you have this frantic cut of a scene which was already fast forwarded and that is if you're lucky enough to understand what was going on in the first place. It really didn't need to be this way. The series has enough skill to show good motion. The fight didn't always have to be full intensity. It's tiring and just wouldn't work for the flow. If it's the limitation of CG, then just do simple motion, which Terraformers actually had. And why it's so weird for me that they decided to edit it with needless noise. Another odd decision was the use of sexy female, and there were plenty of those. Sometimes the series would stay on awkward camera angle, like from behind their butts, or just beside the curve of their boobs. I found it so strange and jarring, especially considering the harnets that proceed or follow that scene. This wouldn't be as bad if it's only aesthetic, but because there's so much time invested on this mess, it hampered the story as well. This was almost an achievement for something that moves so fast to be so narratively slow. We got the gist of the concept early on. I believe the first few episodes did try to establish some kind of coherent plot. But afterwards, it's just random showcase of power and gore. A lot of time was spent on its character's ability, and how it would relate to certain organism on Earth, followed by your usual sci-fi antics that might seem advanced or clever, but in reality, only surface deep. And then we had several episodes of a very depressing backstory. I felt like the first season became a trudge on second half which was very ironic considering it wanted to ramp up the tension even more. Not to mention the sci-fi conspiracy angle it tried to produce out of thin air. You always feel there's not enough information, even with all the characters doing exposition. There was a past incident that's crucial to the story, and we only see glimpses of it. And then the series tried to pull off some plot twists without any investment from the audience. This didn't do any favor for the characters, as you might only remember two or three of them, live ones. And even those probably not the names, 
Only their silly powers. Terra for Mars is a mess. Sometimes you see cool scenes of what it could have been if it's handled properly. But sadly, it will remain as average, a gritty, bloody fight with cockroaches in Mars. Which is still memorable, I guess. That's it. Thank you for watching. Please drop a like and comment below. Consider subscribing and share with your friends. I make three videos every week. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.